Hello, my name is April, and today I'm going to show you how I created this yin and yang rock. So stay tuned. To begin with, I made my rock out of cement using the 3 inch mandala mold from the Happy Dotting Company. I then created the outer circle of the yin and yang design using a compass. Then I divided the circle in half using a craft paint bottle to create the inner backwards S design of the symbol. Now I'm just tweaking the design slightly, making sure that both halves are even. And erasing any unnecessary pencil lines. Now this is the cap off of the craft paint bottle, but it ended up being too big. So I used a penny to form the inner circles. The important thing here is to make sure your design is even from one side to the other. So now I'm taking a common number two pencil and drawing out my design. For my design, I used a lot of flowers, leaves, dots, and curly cues. I would encourage you to use whatever designs appeal to you. This is an opportunity to just let your imagination go wild. But due to the small nature of the rock, I would encourage you to not make the design too intricate because we are going to have to go over it with either paint or a paint pen. And we want our lines to stay crisp. So I stuck with shapes that I knew I would be comfortable tracing over with paint. I used a kneaded eraser to erase any part of my design that I was not happy with. The kneaded eraser leaves less residue than a standard eraser does.
I'm taking a gel pen and tracing over my design. I was hoping that I could do my whole design with the gel pen, but the gel pen does not work well over graphite. So I would not recommend using this a gel pen for your design. Instead, I would recommend either painting your design with paint and a paintbrush or using a paint pen. Okay. I was determined to get this method to work, so I did stick with it. But in the end, I go over my whole design with paint and a paintbrush. I also found out later when I sprayed my rock down with clear coat that any areas where the gel pen uh, ink was, was exposed yellowed really badly. So that's another reason why using the gel pen is not a good idea. Now I did my design all in white, but you could do silver or gold or any other type of metallic paint or paint pen that you may have on hand. And just remember, this painting process is supposed to be relaxing and enjoyable and not supposed to cause you a lot of stress. So stick with the design that makes you happy. So here I'm going over my design with white paint and using a nail dotting tool to create the little flourishes and dots. I then take my background color, the black background color, and I'm tidying up some of my design.
use the rock after it's been sprayed with triple thick clear coat. I hope this video will encourage you to create your own yin and yang rock. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.